I built a calculator when Hello, I was and welcome back to Light Matter. Virgil started talking. Can't stop it. We don't have any dev commentary to listen to to shut him up. So let's just continue on and let him prattle on. We'll just pretend to listen. Okay, there we go. It's already done. So now this puzzle... If I can remember how to do it properly, I believe I can. We'll see. So I do that first. And then do the back thing. It's the same as downstairs. Yeah, like, when you actually know what to do here, this is such a simple puzzle, but for some reason, actually figuring it out was very difficult to me. Yeah, let's see here. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Can't you... There's no real good reason why you shouldn't be able to backtrack. So, hold on, let me just... Look around a little bit. Just forklifts and stuff. I'm just gonna look over this way. Ooh, oh god damn it. Bump my head. Okay, I'm right here. Yep, light right there. Yeah. Thanks. What is back there? Just this stuff, I guess, yeah? Oh yeah, okay, so let's say you backtrack. I'm assuming you can come back here somehow, like once you go through here, but yeah, you come back here, the lamp is still in this position, so you get out here, and then you take the lamp, and you place it here. Do you even need that? Yeah, you do. You place it there. Okay, so this would have to be like here or something, but if it was, I think you could... Okay, oh, well, I mean, yeah, you, you can jump down, can't you? Okay, that's, that's back. Oh, God, didn't mean to do that. Um. I need some light. There's some light. I mean, I really don't understand. Again, like, I feel like the problem with people jumping down to the bottom level and getting stuck would be solved by just having the checkpoints up here on the top floor override all checkpoints down on the bottom floor. So once you get one of the top floor checkpoints, you can't checkpoint down below anymore. So if you jump down then you would you would just be stuck, you can't proceed, and then you have to just jump off and die, and then you would respawn at the top floor. Wouldn't that just make sense? Wouldn't that be fine? I feel like that would be fine. But yeah, it doesn't seem like I can really do anything here, unfortunately. What about this way? Oh god, I didn't actually hold forward there, I just bumped my head on the pipe or whatever. Yeah, no. Yeah, this pipe is in the way. Ah. I guess you can't, but I feel like with very small tweaks, you could have a lamp here, have the button, like, facing this way instead, and then just, like, hit the button and step on the platform, or just have the button stand, like, right here or something, so you could just hit it, and then go back. That wouldn't break anything about the puzzle beyond that, right? And then you would be totally fine. You could just walk down... Uh, here, you would just shine this lamp over there, go over to this lamp, shine this lamp, uh, the lamp that would be... Yeah, this lamp would be shining this way, you would take it and shine it the other way, walk over here, push the button, the lamp comes back to you, it's like you just do it in reverse. It would work flawlessly, so, yeah. I'm, I'm curious. I wonder if the devs will ever watch this Let's Play or the commentary commentary, because I feel like that's kind of weird. I feel like you could have very easily just had the player actually backtrack through the level, but it's fine. I mean, the vent part with Ellen is, is fun too, so it's not like you need to do that, but since he does tell you to backtrack, it's a little weird that you can't. 
Especially when this makes sense. You like, oh, you can't go in here. The door, the chair is for some reason barricading the door. I don't know if someone did that intentionally or if it's complete chance. But once you get in, you should be able to just move the chair and then get out there again. So I think that would have been kind of fun if that was a thing. But alas, it was not meant to be. And here is the coffee room that I really am curious about. What is over there? What is that? I can't even tell. Whoa. Where am I? Right there, okay. Whoa, what is that thing? That looks cool. Old stale sandwich. A candle? wonder what that's about. Huh. Kind of strange. I wonder how many, like, little tiny Easter eggs and references there are. Like, are these references or Easter eggs? I can't even tell. More dogs. Wedding photos. Oh! Oh! Okay, it is a cat. I just saw it, like, on the side for some reason. That's kind of weird. This image was put in a normal frame that was standing upright, and it was, like, flipped. Duck? Can't click the duck. I do like these little tiny, uh... What'd you call them? Just... Things, atmospheric objects about, like, the people working here and stuff that you don't get any elaboration about. Uh, I mean, I guess I can just press the button, because we need to watch the animation anyway. Why isn't he talking? Shouldn't he be talking? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna hold off on clicking anything in there until he shuts up. Maybe I shouldn't have pushed the button. Listen, I'll, uh, I'll think of something. Start heading back. I'll tell you when to stop. Yeah, start heading back. It just makes sense that you should be able to push this away, I feel. I've said it before many times. All right. So he's shut up. Now, coffee. Coffee? Co coffee? Damn fine cup of coffee. Someone seems to be addicted. Someone definitely seems to be addicted. But what do I do about it? I'm clicking everything I can. Really? This is not it? What else could you possibly do for this achievement? This feels so obvious that, like, the coffee addict is here. So, what could the achievement be? Oh, there we go. Damn fine cup of coffee. Was it just you had to, like, click every single cup of coffee in this, this place? Or was it just you have to sit here for, like, 30 seconds or more? Huh. I don't know what I did exactly, but I did it. Was that smoking? Yeah. Huh. I don't know what I did, but I'm glad I figured that out, because it seems so obvious that it has to be in here. Were there any other obvious ones? Yeah, I mean, this one, I feel like I did. Uh, the burgers, I don't know. I'm clicking the burgers I can see, but no idea. And the cake as well, I'm clicking the cake. And I'm doing all the cats, as far as I can tell. I'm probably missing more Lux spots or whatever. Yeah. I'm not sure. But for now, let's move on. So where's this lighter? That's apparently a reference. Ah. 
you can't avoid it. I just snuck into Arthur's office, and it's worse than I thought. Arthur is trying to sabotage light matter. It's not just poisonings. I found the schematics for his experiment on the core. He's not trying to improve it. He's trying to overload it. If he manages to do that, we are all going to die. I am not going to let Arthur ruin our future. I have to get to Virgil. Arthur is after me. Whoever finds this, if it's not too late, tell Virgil that Arthur needs to be stopped. Is that cake? Is this... Something detailing how you get to cake? I don't know. Well, that that's it. And I guess I was supposed to have a dev commentary, like, that seven minutes should have ran for this whole thing. So maybe I should have, like, not picked up the dev commentary, gone and clicked on Lux, and then just done the dev commentary while, uh, or listened to the dev commentary while, while, uh, going through this entire level. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, that doesn't work. We have to start by reversing this one. Is Lux still here? Oh, Lux is gone. Yeah, makes sense. Ran away when things started falling down, I suppose. Also, that shining back there doesn't do anything, does it? Don't think so. Kinda wish I could jump here, but I'm probably dead. Yeah, that's way too far. Uh, we're fine, right? That's pointing towards me, yeah. We're good. There we are. And I don't need this, I'm pretty sure. Can't even take it with me. Unless... Wait, unless... Grab it! Oh, take it. Ah, come on. Damn it. That doesn't work. Alright. Guess you can't take this lamp with you. It would probably just have disappeared anyway, but I just wanted to try. Yeah, it would have disappeared right here. Take again. Clicking it. Oh! Really? I guess this counts as a different level. Interesting. Well, I'll interrupt you. Yeah, I think this level is Midway a good hub B. Um, example of how we structured um, the facility, how we structured the levels in the game. And it all went back to when we actually had um, designed and implemented basically all puzzles in the game. Um, at that point, we were like connecting the dots and like uh, and, and really structuring the narrative because the narrative came after uh, the puzzles and after the mechanics in this game. And we basically put all our puzzles up on a huge board, like uh, almost 40 puzzles, and, uh, and structured uh, which, um, which parts of the facility they would belong to. And we knew that we wanted, like, we wanted a progression where you go through like the mine, the factory part, and a lab. And, um, and that was basically based on like, how, how well does this level fit for that? Does this, does this level seem like a tunnel you're walking through? Maybe it fits in the mine, stuff like that. Um, and uh, this level is basically, we, we, we knew that the structure of the game would be linear, but uh, in order to break it up a bit, Can't we, jump in. We, uh, we used this level as kind of uh, a breather or like a contrast that, okay, there's actually something you return back to um, after the elevator crashes. Um, and that was just to, to spice it up a bit. So it, was, it, only, it, it, it wouldn't only go from A to B all the time but go back. 
And uh, I think this level is also a good example of how it kind of merges the art styles of the different departments of the facility because it almost has all parts in the art style. Maybe you can talk more about that. Yeah, in this one you can see everything, but uh, this place is where you first see the lab stuff. This stuff? And, and you would just had to hit the player with the lab and show that, okay, this is new and different, and you're ven venturing into this place that you haven't seen before, not even a glimpse. So I decided to design this door that was radically different from all the other doors, the round thing with a scanner, and it opens in a fancy way, and I thought it would be a good way to introduce that you're transitioning to something new which has a new shape language and new colors. And in the lab, I've decided to use way more round shapes, way more slanted lines, unlike mine or factory, where things are a bit more cubic and have bolts and rivets and all sorts of fixing mechanisms. All the engines and things are way more visible. And suddenly you're in this place which was way newer way more recently built, way more advanced, so I covered up a lot of detail and at the same time added a bu bunch of shiny lights and things that look way more high-tech. And in terms of colors, well, we knew we wanted all kinds of shades of blue, like in comic Invincible or Spider-Man or even in Phineas and Ferb, if you look at the lab of a mad scientist, it's always in various grayish blues. Isn't that like and the entire case, game? I wanted it to be a little slightly bit evil, so I employed this principle, very widely known, that purple is evil. <laughs> really? So we sprinkled, sprinkled a little bit of purple into that, and here we go, lab style. <laughs> yeah, I think even like... Um the the fact or the idea of Virgil it, it's it's a bit inspired by our art style because we had this kind of uh, mad scientist look before we 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 constructed the narrative fully and um, yeah I think it it had some it had some influence on that and I also remember that uh, back in the day when developing the art style it came a lot from um, the idea of making a le level more readable so because the floor is so important in our game because you have to be careful where it looks, so we made the floor... That's where you think. Yeah, exactly. We made the floor uh, brighter than like the walls because uh, the walls is more like a it's more like a background element, made it grayer. And that also fit really well with the comics we looked at, that the important uh, things you should pay attention to are brighter, uh, with like in this color palette. Yeah, I guess. I didn't notice much purple. I mean, unless you count this as purple, like, I guess it's sort of more purple than blue, but maybe we'll see more as we go through into the lab and stuff. But, once again, it's I feel kind of bad about it, but when they talk about just the visual design with the visual uh, art director and all that, there's not really anything for me to comment on, you know? It's, it's, it is what it is. That's all you can say about it. It's... Kind of interesting to hear about the thought process and changing the the look of the areas and whatever, but there's not really anything else to say about it. I can't say I really thought it looked all that different. Like, it looks different, there are differences, but overall, the entire game is just kind of white, gray, blue, black. Like, that kind of palette it's it's very very samey and that's why i enjoyed the like biological lab section a bit more because then oh look there's some actual like red and some green and some more colors it felt more alive and like less samey so i guess i'm assuming she'll talk about that once we get to that part as well because that's definitely the the most interesting looking part for me Everything else kind of just blends together for me in terms of uh, just the color and overall like feel of it. But I don't dislike it overall. I just feel like they could have been a little bolder and had even more variety. And 
contrast and different nuances and stuff, and maybe made a more drastic change from the initial, like, what would you call it, like, public or factory portion of the game, and then this lab portion of the game, and then the last biology portion of the, the game. But I guess that's, that's up for debate and personal preference and whatnot. But yeah, let's listen to more. Yeah, so this puzzle, um, I remember oh! actually this mechanic. Uh, Stop! Wait, wait, wait. I need to check this. Before they talk. What's this? Which one would this be? Clonk, maybe? Like I kicked the, uh, the vending machine? I don't know what else it would be, so maybe it's that. Let's see. Wait, why can't I do it now? No, 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 what happened? Why can't I do it? Huh? Should I not have retried? I just didn't want them talking while I pressed that button. Or do I have to pick up the dev commentary before I can click it? Oh, this is really annoying. How do I... How do I get that to work again? Aww. Well, let's try picking this up, I guess. Yeah, so this puzzle, um... Oh, come on! What, what's that about? What did I do wrong? Do I have to, like... Oh, what level was that even? Yeah, look at this. Like, this looks way cooler. This looks great. Most of this other stuff... I mean, this looks nice, too. But, as I'm saying... It's, it's all kind of the same, I mean, I guess they just wanted to stick to one style. But it does kind of blend together a little bit, I feel. So I guess, I mean, it's this one, but if I just, oh, the game crashed. Great. Okay. Well, that's fine. At least I wasn't, like, in the middle of doing something. But what the hell? What happened to that vending machine? Just because I hit retry, I can't hit it anymore. Do you have to, like, do something special? I don't know. We'll see. Wait, should I have hit continue? Probably not. Ah, oh, goddammit. And I don't have to, like, click these first, do I? Nope. Why? Why? What is wrong with that? So if I do level select on this one again, it's probably not gonna work. What the hell? It crashed again! What's going on there? It can't load that level with dev commentary already enabled? Okay, level select, 24. No crash. Can't press it. Uh, let me just try then. Dev commentary. Level 24. No crash. Weird. I don't know what the hell was up with that. But, oh man. What do I have to do for that... That thing? I guess I have to go to 23 and replay this, but... Will that even matter? I'll probably not listen to that whole uh, commentary at this point. If I could have just done it in one go, I would have, but now it's getting a little too late to sit through all of that. I would like to make something abundantly clear. Be careful with what you touch, and no photographs. No photographs. Screenshot. I'll tell you more about the plan as I work out the details. That didn't do anything. Screenshots. Oh, there we go! Yeah! It was- wow, that is actually impressive! I am pretty impressed that you can have that as a thing that gives you an achievement. Didn't you sign the NDA? I said no photographs. Because I took a screenshot when he told me not to take screenshots. There we go! At least the, like, crashes and going back here ended up being something useful. Sweet! Too bad he doesn't, like, reprimand you for that. Or maybe he would've if I... 
if I did it later when he was already done talking. I don't know. But yeah, so we have this vending machine, which does nothing. I'll just make sure I click everything again like I did last time, just in case. Alright, and then- now it works! What the hell? That's very weird. Alright, push this. What? Lux? Where? Where did- Oh! What's- huh? What's happening? Where is Lux? I'm very confused. I kinda- I'm gonna disable dev commentary, just so I don't walk into that on accident. Because I want to find Lux. Yeah, I didn't see this before. Glasses as well. What is happening? Where are you, Lux? I'm so confused. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to see Lux somewhere here. But I can't. This is very weird. Just trying to like look around in time. In case you can see something, but it doesn't seem like it. I'm just gonna look this up quick, see if anyone says anything. Oh, this is apparently the Schrodinger's cat, or Schrodinger, whatever you prefer. And I don't know how you would know this, I mean, I've tested this many times now, but... Apparently, you just do it, you just keep doing it, and then eventually... There's a chance that the cat appears, or something. Oh, yep, there we go. I don't know how you could really know that that would happen. I mean, I pressed it many times and looked back many times. So, that's a little weird. Maybe I just got unlucky if it's a 50-50, because that's the whole thing with Schrodinger's cat, I suppose. There we go. Nice. And that just said... Quantum superposition at the push of a button. That, I mean, that makes sense, sort of, but I honestly thought this would be like clonk instead, where you would push the thing and something would get stuck and then you would like push it and then eventually hear like a, a kick sound or something to get a can out and it would say, hey, don't kick that, because that kind of would have made sense too. But yeah, no uh, line from Virgil about this, but there we go. All right, nice. So now I got that. And apparently you needed to go through level 23 before you could actually hit this button, so that was mandatory. Next time, we'll continue here in 24 and start the dev commentary again. Thanks for watching, that was fun, hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time. Bye bye